What's up guys, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming. We're going to do a special request RPG Maker MV tutorial for Sofa King Hayes. Hey Driftwood, could you make a tutorial on how to make animations that you could that could stay on you like a status effect similar to the ones Yanfly uses in his plugins videos, the visual state effects. I've been trying to recreate them to some degree, but I'm having a tough time. They're either obnoxiously too big or positioned wrong. So I was wondering if you could make a step-by-step -step guide on how to make a visual state effect with animation. Thanks. Love your vids. All right. Sofa King Hayes. So you're looking for something kind of small where it shows an animation on the character in battle, uh, like passively or when you have a state on, and it's not like a giant, you know, effect that just happens, and it's also kind of see-through. So I could see all the things that you want. Let's uh, let me show you how I would go about making that. Okay, first thing you want to do is get the plugin. Uh, it should be at the top somewhere. Uh, it's called YEP underscore X underscore visual state effects. Now before in my, some of my videos I've referenced this as the state animations plugin. It's actually uh, expansion visual state effects plugin. You need the buff states core and you need the battle engine core for this to work right. Alright, so update your plugins, get this plugin, put it where it needs to be, you're good to go. Alright, so let's jump into our animations uh, our animations tab of our database. Change your maximum if you have to. Go to uh, a free spot. Now what we're going to do, we could make one hand by hand, but we want to do this quickly because we got a lot of animations to make. So what we're going to do, is we're going to pick one. We're going to pick, uh, we're going to pick one that looks kind of cool how it is, but we're going to totally change it up. So we're just basically looking for a pattern to copy. So let's see, uh, let's go with the general special one. So we're going to take this, but we're going to completely change it up. So right click, copy that, go to the bottom where you have a free spot, paste that, and we're going to call it something else. We're going to call it Easy Animation 1, or whatever you want to call it. What we're going to do is take out all of the SE uh, except for, okay, yeah, all the sound effects. Take out all the sound effects. Now, everything that's left over, if you have screen flash, edit those, change them to target flash. You don't really want any screen flash. Just change those to target flash. All right, cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the images. We're going to change the image. We're going to pick any image you want. It doesn't really matter. just depends on what skill you're going to have. Pick an image and then look at how the skill goes. All right. So one thing to note, if you're copying a pattern that has images all the way like at the bottom, like a very, very long sprite sheet, then when you change the image, not all of them will even show. Like it, it looks like it did nothing. So just keep, keep messing with it till you find one, a good one, to, a good pattern to, to use as a template and then change it, uh, the pattern so that it shows images. We're going to keep that one right there. So we've got two patterns. This is uh, another thing to pay attention to. Sometimes it's good to have a... Uh, to take a pattern that's got two image sets because then you can change it up even further. So let's change up both of these images on this pattern. We changed that one and I kind of like this one too. We'll do that. Let's see if that looks good together. Not bad, not bad. So what we want to do is probably change uh, the size, right? We need, to, we need to do some things. Okay, now we could go in manually, right click and edit and change every one of these, uh, every one of the frames or every one of the cells and every one of the frames, but there's a better, quicker, easier way. And we got to make a lot of these, so we got to do the optimal way. So we're going to click on batch. We're going to select all the frames. We're going to select all the cells. What we're going to do is we're going to scale everything down to 50%, maybe even lower. We're also going to check opacity because that's how see-through the object is. We're going to change the opacity to like uh, 100 or 110 or 120. Uh, no more than 150 or it's going to be too it's going to be too opaque we're going to hit uh or it's going to be too uh not see through right it's going to be too visible all right we're going to hit okay so what that did is it changed every cell of every frame and made them smaller and see through now if we look at it right here we can kind of barely see what's going on it doesn't look like much right but that's exactly what you're looking for it's exactly what you need for an effect like this because you're not going to really uh we could change the target here to something smaller you know you, you're looking for a little tiny effect with no sound effects, really. No screen flashing, just maybe some target flashing. Uh, you don't even need flashing. Now that we've got that, we're going to hit OK. We need to create a state, right? So we're going to put this on a state. Let's create a new state, um, and we're going to call it uh, Little Spark State. It's a passive state, or we could actually make this a state that you give it to a skill and do whatever you want. Okay, I, you know, the icon doesn't really matter. We're going to do that. And then have it do whatever you want. We're going to make it do so that you you do lightning damage, right? Or whatever you want. It's really irrelevant. You're going to do 120%, so extra lightning damage. Now, what we're going to do is a note tag. We're going to go state, animation, and then we're going to put in the number of that animation. I forgot what it was. 498. 498. Okay, I think that was right. So now that we've got our note tag on the state, we need to award the state to a skill or make it a passive state, right? So that was state number. 
Uh, 13, so we're going to just give it to the actor as a passive state so we can test it quickly. Boom, passive state 13. Now, let's test it out. We should always have that passive state if it's if we've got all our plugins up to date and everything is working correctly. So let's jump into a battle and see how the little spark state animation works. Cool. You can even get rid of the icon if you want to by leaving the, the icon blank on the state. Now you can see we've got something that's kind of see-through. It's kind of small. It looks like a nice little effect. And you can make it bigger and change it however you want. Really simple, right guys? All right, man. Uh, what was your name? Let's give you some credit for the special request. Nope, wrong one. What about this one? This is the one. Sofa King Hayes, thank you so much for your special request. If you guys have special requests, put them in the comments of this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you want to see more special requests. Subscribe to the channel if you want to. If you want more future content like this, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.